now let's see the differences between string class and string buffer class or the differences between the mutable and immutable objects uh, so this is string class and this is string buffer class let's see the first point string objects are immutable that means string objects are not changeable once we create a string object then it is not possible to modify the contents of the string object let's see an example string s is equal to new string of new string of java so an object is created so what is the content of the object java so next s is a reference variable let the address is 1000 so this 1000 points to that object next s dot concat of programming uh, we know what is a concat method a uh, concat method concatenates this string to the corresponding uh, string object so now the output is java programming but here the point is uh, string objects are immutable so it is not possible to modify the string object content okay if we want here we can write a statement like this a uh, string s1 is equal to s dot concat of programming then what will happen is the corresponding result java programming will be stored in an object called s1 now we have s1 reference variable let the address is 2000 so now this 2000 points to java programming why because concat method concatenates uh, two string objects but here it is a string object so it is not possible to modify the content of the string object if we want we can perform an initialization like this so this is the first point uh, let's see the first point in string buffer class string buffer objects are mutable that means string buffer objects are changeable so once we create a string buffer object then it is possible to modify the content of the string buffer object let's see an example string buffer s is equal to new string buffer of java so an object is created like this java s is the reference variable let the address is thousand so thousand points to the corresponding object s dot append of programming so we know what is append method append method concatenates uh, two strings so this uh, programming content will be appended to the string buffer object so now the output is java programming system dot out dot println of yes so what is yes no java programming so java programming will be printed uh, in uh, string buffer class we don't have a concat method we have append method so that's why with the help of append method we are appending the content so this is the difference here so string objects are uh, immutable that means once we create a string object then it is not possible to perform uh, any modification on the object if you perform any modification on the object uh, then uh, we have to use uh, a right hand side variable a right hand side string in order to store the result otherwise uh, that result won't be performed okay so this is the first point uh, let's see the second point here string and uh, string buffer class are inherited from object class so we have a class called object class object class so string class and string buffer class is inherited from the object class uh, object class contains uh, nearly 12 methods uh, one of the method is equals method uh, the advantage of equals method is uh, equals method checks whether two object references are same or not if those two references are equal then it returns true value suppose if the references are not equal then it returns the false value so here the point is uh, string and string buffer classes are inherited from object class object class contains a method called equals method so that equals method is available in both string class as well as string buffer class uh, so what is the duty of equals method equals method checks whether two references are same or not if those two references are equal then it returns true value Suppose if the corresponding two references are not equal, then it returns false value. Whereas a string class overrides equals method. So equals method is overrided by string class. In string class, the task of equals method is it checks whether the contents of 
two strings are equal or not instead of references uh, in equals uh, in string class equals method is overrided so the duty of equals method in string class is it checks whether the contents of two strings are equal or not if the contents of two strings are equal then it returns the true value suppose if they are not equal then it returns the false value whereas string buffer class doesn't overrides equals method <coughs> so directly uh, equals method which is present in object class will be available in string buffer class so we know what is the task of equals method in object class uh, equals method will check whether two references are uh, same or not if they are same then it returns true value otherwise it returns false value so let the, let's see the point here <coughs> string class overrides equals method of the object class so in string class the task of equals method is it checks whether the contents of two strings are equal or not if they are equal then it returns true value otherwise it returns false value so here we have two objects s1 and s2 so the content of the s1 is high the content of s2 is high so system dot out dot printlet s1 dot equals of s2 so what is the use of equals method in string class it checks whether the contents of two string objects are equal or not so s1 content high s2 content high so it will displace two as the output let's see this example string buffer s1 is equal to new string buffer of high so we know whenever an object is created what will happen so high is the name of the object high is the object s1 is the reference uh, let uh, reference is 1000 so 1000 points to the object next statement string buffer s2 is equal to new string buffer of high so high is the object and let the reference is uh, 2000 so yes two so 2000 points to the high uh, so string buffer class doesn't overrides equals method of the object class so in object class the task of equals method is it checks whether uh, those two references are equal or not so system dot out dot print and s1 dot equals of s2 so what is s1 reference thousand what is s2 reference two thousand so thousand two thousand they are not equal so it returns false so false will be displayed so these are the two differences between string and string buffer class.